Hey, I know it's been a long time since you've seen our faces on your laptop or computer, um, but uh, <laughs> we are just coming out of a really busy season for Atlanta Story. If you follow us, you've probably seen that we've been all over the place, haven't we, Anna? We have been all over the place, Allie. Yeah, it's been just a very full winter and spring. Um, I think about every weekend we were somewhere, yeah, we were. and then in between as well, and from almost pretty much coast to coast. Um, our territory is just kind of enlarging, which has been an awesome blessing. We've loved it, but we're also right at the end of that season and ready for a new season where we get to be home for a little while and enjoy um, kind of a normal life where we're not packing a suitcase every other we day. We have little gardens, actually, this we summer. We do. I have a tomato competing. growing. Yes. Her herbs are winning, but my tomatoes My oregano is killing it this year. <laughs> Yeah. Um, one of the big transitions is probably a lot of you guys have known via Facebook and if you go to Madison Park Church you know that um, we're transitioning in as worship leaders there and we just wanted to kind of clarify some stuff because we've had people ask us questions and wonder what's going on and so um, hopefully this will help but we um, are on staff in different ways. Stephen and Ben are husbands who play guitar and drums for Elena Story are actually part-time on staff there. So they're doing kind of the behind the scenes detail work um, at Madison Park and are super excited about all that, um, that that means for them. Just, we've had such an awesome welcome there and so many amazing people and I'm just excited to be a part of what God's doing there and, and so are they. Anna and I will be contracted there, which basically means that we'll be there on Sundays when we're not traveling and on the road, and we're super excited to get to invest in in the people there that love worship too, and we're just excited to watch the culture um, grow and develop there in, in worship, and I know that there are many of you that are already praying for us and praying for what God has in store, and so um, we're just really, really excited for what's ahead, and we don't know fully what that all means, but we just know that God has already been doing work before we plan to come, and that He's going to do awesome things um, in the future. So be praying with us, and we invite you to, if you're looking for a home church and don't have a place that, that you can get involved, that we would love to have you there at Madison Park. It's right off of 69 in Anderson, and um, we would just love to have whoever um, come and be a part of all that God is going to be doing. So hopefully that helps and clarifies things a little bit. Yep, and Atlanta Story still exists. Yes. <laughs> and um, it, it really won't change um, much. But what it has allowed us to do is to clarify more of what our traveling ministry is going to look like, which has been a great blessing in, in kind of having the ability to say yes to the things that we feel like we'll really fit at and be a little bit um, more specific about what uh, what we have to bring when we come to events or when we do shows or lead worship and so we're just excited to still have opportunities to share and play and lead and so we're still booking um, and still moving forward with that still writing that's what we're gonna be doing a lot this summer is writing for a new set and eventually a new project and um, and so, yeah, nothing's really changing there. We're just kind of clarifying what what we are all about. Um, transition has been our word in the past few months. Those of you that we've had conversations with, you know that there's just been a lot that's been thrown at us and a lot of opportunities that have come. And we have no idea what the future holds, but I just believe so much that what God has in store is just beyond what we can imagine. And we are so excited for those of you that get to journey with us in that. And we just invite you, if you aren't um, directly a part of our lives just to pray for us and just to ask God um, as he brings us to mind that he would just guide us and give us wisdom and that we wouldn't be ahead or behind him but just right in the midst of his will. We just ask that you, um, our intercessors, would just pray with us and um, we'll keep you posted as things unfold. So mm -hmm. we're excited. We just appreciate you all very, very much. We love you all. We're excited to see you. Hopefully in the fall, we'll be back on the road more. So, yeah. Um, but stay posted. We'll keep you updated better this summer. So We always say that. We try. We do our best. <laughs> once a year. And this is the once a year blog. So enjoy it. Anyways. All right. Love you all. See you later.